Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Photoshop to create your photo cubism collage. You should already have your 10 to 20 photos taken and downloaded onto your drive. I'm going to recreate this project that a former student of mine made and she gave me permission to use her photographs. So to start with, go to File, New, and I'm going to click the Photo tab and I'm going to make this 10 inches wide and 8 inches tall and I'll call this cubism collage and then click create now I'm going to start placing my photos. Now I looked through the photos and I actually wrote down on a piece of paper a little list. I'm going to end up having four rows of photos. So you can start your collage wherever you want. It could be the top corner, the bottom corner, you could start it in the middle. It's up to you and how you want to approach that. I chose to start mine at the bottom. I'm going to go to File place embedded and I've already gone to my Google Drive where all my photos are saved and my first photo is this one with the little bird and I chose that and click place now I will shrink that down I, I need approximately four photos across so I'm just gonna estimate how big I think it should be so maybe something kind of like that now I'll go get my next one, File, Place Embedded, and if I scroll down here to where my other sidewalk photos are, the one that I thought was next was this one, 5963. So I'll place that and make it approximately a similar size to my other one, but remember we don't want them, them to match up perfectly. So I'm going to overlap it a little bit and have it be something like that. Click the check mark. Now I'll get the next one, File, Place Embedded, and my next one is 5962. I will shrink that to the right size. And I want the lines to line up kind of, but not exactly. So maybe something like that, check mark. And my last one, file, place embedded is 5958. So let me get that. And you don't have to write down the numbers on yours. You can just do it by eye. It was just easier for me to do it that way and the way my brain works. So you do whatever makes sense to you. And I'm gonna have this one be here and check mark. Now I can go ahead and click on these and rearrange them a little bit to how I think check mark how I think that they will look good. So maybe something like that. And the other thing that I can do is over here in the layers panel, I can rearrange the order. For example, maybe I want this one to go underneath this one. So I can just click and drag it to um, change to change the order. And so I am going to complete the whole uh, rest of my collage that way. So I'm going to have a uh, second row here, a third row, and then the top row. So I already finished that, and here's what the finished project looks like. And you can see how many layers I have over here in my layers panel and some of these I clicked and dragged to different places um, to make it look good. And um, what I'm going to show you how to do next is your, your uh, choices for the background. So if you like this jagged edge then you could leave it like this. You can have it be white or you can change the color. Let me show you how to change the color. So I clicked on the background layer and I'll go to Edit, Fill, 
and I will choose color from the list. Now I can use this uh, eyedropper here and I could click on colors like maybe this kind of blue gray color here from the planter and click OK and OK and that looks interesting. So if I if you don't want it a color and you want to crop it then you can just use the crop tool right here and you can click and drag to bring these corners in and adjust it until you think it's the right dimensions and then click the check mark and that's the finished collage. You have a couple of options for saving your project. If you know for sure that you're 100% finished with your project, you can save as a JPEG. So go to File, Save As, save on your computer, and you can change this to a JPEG. And sometimes um, there's a button over here that says Save As a Copy, and you might have to click that. And I'm going to cancel this because I'm going to show you the other way. So if you're not finished with a project, then what you should do is save it as a Photoshop document. So go to File, Save As, save to your computer, and this time make sure that the file type says Photoshop. What that does is preserves all of your layers so that you can go back and rearrange them and edit them. If you save it as a JPEG, then you lose your layers. That's it everyone. If you have questions, be sure to ask. Ask me, ask your neighbors. Uh, have fun with your project.